Hey y'all, hey, it's Brittany, Britannia 718, and I'm here to do a quick video about a subject that I get asked all the time, and that's how to grow long locks. And if y'all hear a baby screaming and crying in the background, just ignore that, thanks. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm here with six tips to help you grow long, luscious locks. Let's go. For my first tip, it's to eat well and to drink lots of water. I know it sounds redundant, I know you hear that all the time, but a lot of what we eat not only shows up in our skin, but it shows up in our hair as well. So try and do a good job by, you know, at least drinking some, wo some water, okay? Just incorporate just a little bit, just a, just, a, just a smidge. Your face and hair will thank you for it. Tip number two, take a multivitamin or a biotin. Um, that's really helpful in strengthening and growing people's not only your hair but your nails as well too um i actually take prenatal vitamins no i'm not pregnant i'm just a little bit on the plump side right now the holiday season's been real good to you girl <laughs> but um i take prenatal vitamins because they just have everything in it so why not i have it from nature is it nature valley you know the one or spring valley i don't know the the one that they have from um from walmart i'll make sure and put a link of it down below so you guys can see which one I use. Tip number three, try to minimize the amount of products that you use. A lot of people ask me all the time what products do you use, what products do you use. I don't really use much like I just use generic stuff. I moisturize my hair. Um, I have like a concoction that I mix but um yeah I don't I don't use a lot of product in my hair at all because it just weighs down at least my hair and if you use too much product that's just gonna block all your pores and your hair is not going to be able to flourish or your scalp rather <laughs> is not going to be able to flourish because it's blocked with too much crap. Tip number four, reduce tight and restrictive hairstyles. I know a lot of people and I say this all the time, a lot of people like those intricate tight hairstyles. Sometimes it's best not to always pull your hair so tight. Protective styling is cool, but don't make it so tight that you know it's pulling at your roots and you see like the little white bulbs pop, um, popping out from the roots because your hair is too tight. Ain't nobody got time for that. You know, just make sure you just limit how much stress you're putting on your hair. Like for me, I, I put my hair in a ponytail or in a bun sometimes and I don't even make it like a couple of hours, I'm ready to take it down. Not because it hurts, I just, it's just, I like my hair just to hang and just be by, you know, just to be free. Tip number five, reduce or limit the amount of heat that you're using on your hair. I mostly air dry my hair. I don't really sit under the dryer. I, I, uh, the last time I sat under the dryer is when I went to the Dominicans a couple months ago to get my hair washed because I was just too lazy to wash it myself. But, and I didn't even stay under there long and it was under cool settings. So reduce it if you're using too much and limit it if you're not really using it at all and see if there's a difference in how the hair, your texture of your hair feels. And tip number six, my last tip is minimize color processing. A lot of people like to color their hair and that's fine. Nothing's wrong with that. I'm also a person that likes to color my hair now too. But you don't want to do, some people do it too often. Some people are always bleaching their hair and that's stripping your hair of its natural oils. And that necessarily is it's pretty damaging for your hair, especially if you're not combating that with some type of moisturizing treatment um, or some type of deep conditioning treatment for your locks. Like that can be very detriment detrimental, make your locks brittle and essentially break off. Find other alternatives to coloring your hair. You know, there are like chemical free um, dyes if you want to use that. There are rinses that you can use. It's not harmful to your hair. You know that after a couple of washes, it'll come out. So you can just put another rinse back into your hair and you know, it's all good. So those are the six quick tips that I have um, for helping you to grow long, strong, healthy locks. If there's anything I may have left out, please, by all means, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe if you're not, and tell your mom and them I said to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Later.